David of Ground Grabber. I'm the creator of these uh, Ground Grabbers. Here we are at uh, Lennox Head Beach at the moment, uh, north of New South Wales, beautiful spot. We're about to do some stress testing and weight uh, bearing testing on our Ground Grabber Pro 2. And we've got the car set up and the weight scales. Have a look over here. We're gonna video this so we're gonna see exactly how much strain it's gonna take. And so to start with, I'm actually going to wind it into the sand using a ratchet wrench rather than the cordless drill, which we will also do as well. So, here I go. Next I'm going to set up the test by placing a hook over the Ground Rebel Pro 2. And now I'm going to attach ropes and safety equipment just in case something snaps and flies towards the car. I'm going to put another Ground Rebel Pro 2 into the sand just as a safety measure to hold the safety rope. That should be enough. Okay, we're all set up now. We've got the um, Ground Grabber Pro 2 in the sand with the hook, the load rope, which is attached at the other end to a crane scales. We're going to video the crane scales and make sure we know exactly how much weight it holds before something gives. I expect the hook's going to give first, it's going to open up, and I expect that the steel shaft is going to bend because of the force of the car pulling it that way. Um, we've got a safety line on the hook, so if it does snap, it doesn't go far because we've got it attached. And also this rope, so let's go, it's also attached to there for safety reasons. All right, I'm going to hop in my car and reverse and see how we go. As we expected, the hook let go with all the strength on it. Let's go check out how far it actually went before it let go. Okay, we just had a look at the slow mo we took. Um, we found it went to 430.5 kilos before I let go. It might be a bit hard to see, so what we're going to do is I'm going to cut it in and put a photo of this in so you can see it uh, more easily. Now I'm going to remove the Ground Grabber Pro 2 out of the sand. I expect it to be fairly well bent given all the force it was under. Oh well, yeah, she's bent. Not as much as I expected though. It's over 400 kilos of pressure and it could have actually taken more before the hook let go. Alright, I'll get a fresh one. And this time we're going to put it on an angle like that and see how much force that can take. We're all hooked up now, ready to test. This time the strain rope is connected directly to the top of the Ground Grabber Pro 2. Um, that way there's no hook to loosen up. So let's just see how much stress this is going to take. Away I go. That one didn't hold nearly as much. The angle of the ground grabber made it just straight out. It didn't bend, but didn't hold nearly as much. We'll take a look at how much weight got behind it.
It's going to be the last test. We're going to be putting it in vertically like we did originally, except without a hook. So we'll just see how much force it can take this time. hard to read so we can't actually show you straight away on the video what the scale's got to but we'll insert a photo of it. It got to 547 and a half kilos before it finally pulled out of the sand. That's pretty damn good. Round Grabber, the next evolution in camping.